This is Nathan James Howard, and some would even dare to call him a friend. For as long as I have known him, Nathan has only ever played one game, that game being Overwatch. Even if we ask him to get on other games, or we're all on other games, he still remains in Overwatch. It is the only game he ever plays. Now if you're not familiar with what Overwatch is, it is essentially a team-based multiplayer game that consists of you pushing a payload to a certain position with your team while the other team tries to stop you, or you are trying to capture a zone while the other team tries to capture it for themselves. The amount of time Nathan has spent on this one game alone is just absolutely flabbergasting. He could have spent this time doing a myriad of other things, and yet he chose to do Overwatch. The total amount of time he has on Overwatch equivalents to a total of about 25 total days of playing. How do you know Nathan? <sighs> well, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. I was, um, I was on this game, Halo 5 Guardians. It's, it's on Xbox. And, um, you can play these, like, custom games with strangers and um i join in in this lobby and i'm like messing with people doing my thing and i get an invite to a uh, to a call and you know me being the naive freshman at the time i think yeah it was a while ago but um i i join and i hear his freakish little voice hey uh you want to join my halo clan you know me being naive at the time, I didn't know what that meant. So I asked him about it, and he begins to describe how he'll. It's like it's like a role play military thing. I of course thought this was lame, and that he was a loser. So I made it clear to him that I thought he was a lame loser, and um, we've been friends ever since. How often do you think he plays Overwatch? Well, you know how I'm, I'm gonna do an analogy, if that's okay. Um. You know how us normal people, we wake up, we go to work or school, just, you know, contribute to society? While well, we're doing that, he's, um, he's playing Overwatch. And you know how at the end of a long day, after, you know, grueling away at the system, cozy up, maybe get a snack and then hit the hay? He's playing Overwatch. And then, as you sleep through the night, dreaming about, like, better days, he's on Overwatch. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts on the game? <laughs> this, it's, uh... <laughs> I didn't know people still played this game. You know, it's 2022. I thought we were better than that. Um, I think it's like a... It's a game for terrible people to vent their terrible frustrations. And, um, it's not surprising that he still plays it as much as he does. I'll just leave it at that. And how good do you think he is at the game? How good? Well, you know how he's been playing the game for months and months? And just, like, he's always on it? He uh, made it up to Platt. And for one, one weekend, I made the mistake of playing with him, a little bit of ranked. And, uh, I placed where he spent months grinding too, so he's uh he's trying his best. How do you know Nathan? So uh back in the game Halo 5 Guardians, it's a uh, you know, we he had a clan, right? He wanted to name his clan Sierra. It was gonna be a clan full of mercenaries and we were gonna take down um, smaller clans, right? And then uh I, I met him through another friend. So me me and this uh me and this dude were were in a clan lobby and we we're infiltrating the clan lobby, right? And, and he said, hey, hey, Kylan, hey, Kylan, you want to meet my friends? And I said, yeah, I'll meet your friends. And then I met Nathan, and he was sitting there on, on the top of the hill on this forge map. And he said, I'm Nathan Howard. I am the leader of Sierra. And I said, I'm going to take you down, Nathan Howard. And then that's how we met. We became really best friends afterwards. And how often do you think he plays Overwatch? 24-7, uh, I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll every time he's awake. I, I'll, I'll awake. When he's awake, he's playing Overwatch. 
I try to get him to play other games and he calls me a swear. And then I, you know, just kind of have to deal with that. And how do you personally feel about the game Overwatch? I... Why did you ask me that? Why did you ask me that? Answer me. Answer me. Why, why did you ask me that? What? Next question. Next question. How good please, do you think please. Nathan is at Overwatch? Better than average. He just shouldn't be that. He should play something good. Like we, she should play uh, uh, just uh, World of Warcraft, League of Legends. Play League of Legends. Anything, please. Anything better than. Please. Just. Oh. <coughs> How do you know Nathan? I saw him screaming at a GameStop employee that he needs Overwatch 2. The employee was crying that it, it's not out yet and that it's only on PC. But it's still not out yet. And then he, he, he ran up to me and just yelled his gamer tag. And then I added him. How often do you think he plays? Um, I think from the moment he wakes up to the moment he sleeps. I feel like he probably has like a phone version of Overwatch, and he plays that too. And what are your thoughts on the game? Okay. Um, not enough variety. I think Torbjorn should get buffed. Make him just be able to instant kill people. Then the game might be fun. And how good do you think Nathan is at Overwatch? Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Very bad. Like on a scale of 0 to 100, he somehow goes negative. The amount of damage this game has caused to his psyche is irreparable. 12 years from now, this moment in time will still be a part of his life. Why do you only play Overwatch? Uh, I've stuck with it since I got my computer. It was the first game I started playing because I had saw it on YouTube for a lot and I wanted to try it out on computer and it's it was cheap so I bought it and I've just been playing it for so long I feel like I've gotten like really good at it and it's one of the games I'm better at on PC. And what do you think makes it different from other games? Uh, the amount of like coordination you have to do with your horrible teammates is pretty fun because it increases the skill gap to where you, you can't just like aim and like kill the entire enemy team. And even if you do and you get like trade like three for one, like you're still gonna lose because your teammates are like god awful and only you are doing work. And it, it kind of like changes the bar for skill from being just like playing the game and being good at it to like coordinating with your team and like knowing what's happening. And it, it's kind of fun. It's like playing like an RTS almost, but like not like a fps and that's fun and how good do you think you are after all this time of playing i i peaked diamond once and that that was cool so i think i think i'm pretty good considering i started off at bronze when i couldn't like aim at all and then i got all the way up like 1500 sr i think that is which is a good amount 